Want to get a hazmat endorsement so you can make more money? Where well, there's a new regulation that requires you to complete a training course before you take your hazmat exam. Luckily, my friends at Elite ELDT have an affordable online training course that only takes about two hours. Check them out today at EliteELDT.com. You can find the hazmat endorsement initial training course under the online CDL training tab. Guys, we're out here in Comfort, Texas. Uh, I'm recording because there's multiple parking spots to park in. And uh, we're fixing to walk over here to the fuel island so I can show you just how many truck drivers are actually parked in the fuel island. I understand there's no fuel here, but the, the fact is it's just common courtesy. Get out of the fuel island. There's plenty of spots to park in. That's my point of this video. Look at this. Every single one. Every single one of the fuel islands. Yes. Everybody just park. I understand there's no uh there's no fuel. But it's just common courtesy, you know. Common courtesy to get out the way and go do something. Hey, you know Hey! You know there's like 15 20 other parking spots over there. But you are trying to park, you know. You're, you're parked, yeah. I'm waiting on a fuel. I'm waiting on fuel too, but I'm in a parking spot. It's called common courtesy. You're blocking up this right here. Yeah, you are. You're a piece of shit. Hey, you're going on. You're going on bonehead truckers, you dumbass. You're going on bonehead truckers, you dumbass. Say hi. Now this is definitely a bullhead trucker moment. He's at the fuel aisle and he's eating and already have fueled his truck up. And of course he's from Snyder. <coughs> this has got to be the funniest thing ever. <laughs> Bonehead chucker moment. Truck driver was taking a shower for an hour on the fuel island. What are you doing? Taking a shower? Look at this. You got a shower bag. You taking a shower? Why are you taking a shower? Why are you taking a shower? This man in here taking a shower. Oh, he's taking a shower. <laughs> oh, he's taking a shower! <laughs> Welcome to this week's edition of Bonehead Truckers of the Week. This is a place where we make none of the dumb stuff we see out here on the road. So if you like this kind of garbage, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and give me a comment. Ah, he's taking a shower! Anyway, hey guys! We got a Discord channel, okay? We got a Discord place or a server, whatever they call that thing. Go check it out, Bonehead Truckers. Hey, if you got clips you want to see and see on Bonehead Truckers, send them to contact at boneheadtruckers.com or, and or, join our Facebook group. Say no to Bonehead Truckers on Facebook, okay? Yeah, go check it out, man. We'd love to have you. And there's a special link down there in the description. Okay, there just is. We got some boneheads this week because it's been cold. Okay, it's been cold. But we got some near misses too. Watch this guy. Man, he come out not hitting a dark on thing. Some near misses. All right, it's a good deal. Good, good way of starting. Now, I guarantee you, he wasn't fully loaded. Now, watch this fella coming up right here. Like he's trying to stop, but his trailer doesn't want to. Oh, man. Comes out clean. <laughs> I'll watch this old whoa <laughs> shame on the mess boy that was close alright in case you guys haven't heard i tell you what look, hey, check this tarp job out right here okay that, that's excellent that's excellent driver who, who taught you this is a CRST day cab I guess I guess uh, he just 
You know, just threw a tarp on there. So I'm just gonna go drop it at a yard, let someone else do it. <laughs> I don't know if this is the same bridge. Almost looks the same, right? Anyway, check out uh, Western Express right here. I don't think that trailer, that he probably hit something. Now, I'll tell you what, I've done a lot of dumb stuff at the driver's seat, but this right here, I've never done. All right, this guy's just waiting for trouble. First of all, what's going to happen if you hit a bump? And, and then your your meat is on the floor, okay? No telling what you be, you know what's on your floor. You probably been missing in your piss bottle. Now check out this. Now there, I'm gonna show a video of this, but I wanted to put these still pictures right here in front of it first, right? Because I want you to see it, put this in context. The lady here, you know, pulled up the KLLM driver who pulled up out of the fuel island like she was supposed to do. You know, and this driver cut it too close. Now, so here's the video. Here's the video right here. And I want you guys to put your comments, what you think about this, okay? Now, obviously, this driver, okay, on the left that hits the KLLM truck wasn't paying no attention, right? But it's pretty clear that this is a pull-up space right here, okay? Well, they weren't paying much attention you still got to pay attention. You, I mean, goodness gracious, you, st you still got to pay attention. Now, let's look at this little situation we got right here, right? Like, I do believe that the KLLM driver did nothing wrong right there. Did nothing wrong whatsoever. There you go. Watch out, old Schneider right here. Okay, going to run someone off the road. Okay, terrible situation. I says terrible situation. Now this is right before the winter storm down here in Texas, okay, you see they have the roads treated right here, you see that? But we got a guy over here practicing. This guy in this tank <laughs> sitting there practicing. He's like, hey, I gotta get ready for the storm. <laughs> oh man, speaking of the winter storm landing that hit down here in Texas, boy, I tell you, you know, hit everywhere, not just Texas, but I tell you, man, we got a lot of stuff like this going on, man. Lots of stuff. I mean, this is the kind of stuff I'd be staying at the house or staying at the truck stop or doing something because this is the last thing I want to happen is to wind up in a ditch, okay? We don't want to be winding up in a ditch. There's a lot of places I'd like to be, but a ditch ain't one of them, all right? It just, it just ain't going to do it. Just ain't going to, you know, this is uh, over in Memphis, okay? Like, you almost made it. You almost made it there, but, you know, hit that patch of ice, man, and that'll happen. You just never know. Lots of stupid stuff happens in the wintertime. You see a lot of dumb stuff, and this is one of them. This this is great right here. This, this, this fella thinks he's going to pull this semi... Uh, out from the out from being stuck right here in this little old Jeep, okay, the little Jeep, whatever you call this old fella thing, okay. Uh, I says old fella thing, okay. Uh, excuse me if I don't speaketh right, okay. okay. Excuse me, but this is funny right here. Old Wainer wagon trying to get unstuck and trying to get an all-wheel drive four-wheeler to do it. Maybe perhaps if he had a Chevy. Okay, I got a trail boss out here. All right, maybe I could jar you loose. <laughs> All right, well, this guy's taking some de-icer, some windshield de-icer, trying to, uh, well, unstuck his brakes. He's trying to unstuck his brakes with some windshield wiper de-icer stuff, okay? Who knows? Maybe it'll work. Maybe you can get it to work. I don't know. I can't know, but you know what? It kind of looks funny. Good luck with that driver. So I was sitting here talking to a driver the other day. He was like, I only make a dollar twenty-five. I don't know what to do. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know? Do you own your own daggum truck? Okay, you can take your truck anywhere. Why are you still leased to this mega carrier? Well, you know, if you own your own truck, that's your business. You don't have to get stuck in some mega carrier out there. Check out TRC Freight and see what they have to offer, okay? Up to 90%, you're running off the spot market, make all the money you want, you choose your rates. You do, not someone else, you do. Partner with a no BS carrier like TRC. They're transparent, you have all the rate cons and everything. You work with the brokers, go to trcandme.com and see what they have to offer. Give the guy a call and tell him I sent you. If you don't, then, well, shame on me.